With the recent events in the Black Clover manga, I feel it's the perfect moment to bring back a specific panel from the Black Clover exhibition with Yuno and Asta because people were fixated on this panel right here that showed a broken promise and Yuno's grimoire being burned away. And with the newest information from the recent chapter, I'm starting to get an idea of what's really about to happen. Sit tight. So the consensus in the community is that Yuno will lose his grimoire, which at the time seemed strange. Then Yuno versus Zenon happened and he, he acquired a spade grimoire that had star magic. So now if Yuno does lose his clover grimoire, then he still has his spade grimoire to fall back on. But then how would he lose it? One of the two ways that happens is if Yuno falls into despair and his four leaf becomes a five leaf and I'll tell you the second one later when that time comes so now that begs the question what will push you know to that point well let's take a trip down memory lane to you know's build up for when he falls into despair starting with chapter 308 which gives us a summary of you know conflicting with his decision making and his strength as he continued to make no substantial progress in his fight against Zenon since the Spade Kingdom started. You also have scenes with Yuno being mentioned as taking losses horribly as he mentions that he hates losing more than anything while talking to Longris. And we've already seen Yuno looking pretty depressed after feeling to defeat Zenon the first time around while also losing his comrades and his captain. Although, it's the promise that he made with Asta that keeps him from giving up. But most importantly, Longris is right about what he said. Yuno doesn't handle losses pretty well. So if Yuno does fall into despair in the future, which I believe he will, then it's most likely going to be from a loss, whether it's a loss from his comrades or from being defeated. But who knows, it may most likely be even both. So now let's ask ourselves, who would be responsible for pushing him to that point? He already beat Xenon, so who in the Spade Kingdom could beat you know that's left? And push him to despair and the birth of a five leaf and take his five leaf for more. Well, before I continue, I want to tell you my second point on how you know could you lose his grimoire. And that's while it's still a fourth leaf. And that's from Morris. We know that the elf soul within Yuno is still there, and we've seen Morris do things like extract and transplant things like two grimoires together and transplant Lolo Pechka's wisdom into himself. What if the same will be done for Yuno's elf soul? If that happens, then Morris would now be the owner of his grimoire. So this is a possibility on how you know could lose his four leaf grimoire but i prefer this one with the five leaf grimoire that i'm about to tell you right now okay so we've seen a grimoire become a five leaf in black clover and the mastermind behind it was the same being the devil the first instance was lich after the elf massacre took place and the second was patry after learning the truth about the elf massacre and he started conflicting with what he thought was already true both instances were triggered by the high-ranking devil zagred in his scheme now we're at a point in the story where lucifero may emerge from the second gate and presumably everybody that defeated the dark triad is going to gather in the spot where he's about to emerge from you know will definitely be there as well because that's where you know his captain is and then after that, all the pieces needed for this agenda have been cooking up will be here. So let's begin. If you know falls into despair, the mastermind this time around will be Lucifero. But how would he do it? Well, I'm going to predict this. If Lucifero does emerge early, he may just kill or even torture Vengeance right in front of you know. 
Now, if you read the Berserk manga, then allow me to refer to the eclipse when Guts was forced to watch the horrifying scene with Griffith and Casca. If Lucifer wanted to push Yuno into despair, he could pin Yuno down with presence of the Demon King. And just like we've seen from Dante pinning Gosh against the wall and impaling him with the sword that he created, which led to Asta's rage. So you know being forced to witness his captain being tortured to his last breath while he's helpless again, I think would be just what he needs to push him to that point where his four leaf becomes a five leaf. And here's just a side thought about Vongeance. His mask always resembled the mask on Femto from Berserk. And if you've seen my recent video, then you know I've been really pushing this Berserk Eclipse agenda, but Black Clover style. And with Lucifer doing the punishment to Vongeance, Make, and making you know watch versus Femto from Berserk doing what he did to Casca but making Guts watch. I know Tabata has taken many inspirations from Berserk and with everyone gathering in the same spot where Lucifer was going to emerge and also Julius fearing that something huge is about to emerge, it just feels all too similar to Guts and his friends gathering in the location where Griffith summoned the God Hand, which led to the Apostles killing all of Guts' friends. I'm not saying it's going to be that crazy, but I think it'll be something in the ballpark. I just can't help to push this agenda. But anyways, back to Yuno's four leaf becoming a five leaf. So Lucifer would take the five leaf grimoire for himself and maybe force Yuno into becoming Dark Yuno, just like Dark Patrick from the um, Shadow Palace and Zagreb turning him into Dark Patrick. Then we would have Lucifer keeping Yuno around because he needs his star magic to open the gates to heaven. And if you want more information on what I mean by that, then check out this short video I made about Yuno's star magic being a key piece to opening the gates to heaven. Then in the future, after all of that happens, we would finally get round one of Yuno versus Asta, with Asta trying to save his best friend, just like how he reached Patry, but ultimately failing this time around, and thus, you know wins the first fight between them. You know won't be able to keep his promise to Asta as long as he's dark, you know, so the promise is broken until Asta turns him back to normal. Alright, so that's it for me. If we get an eclipse type massacre, remember me as the one that constantly pushed the agenda to you first. And again, I don't mean to the scale of the eclipse massacre but maybe like a more watered down version of it. All right, that's it for me. Peace out.